Hello, I'm John Proxy on Channel John West having a Final Fantasy XIV online adventure, a Realm Reborn, and I just tried making myself a cup of tea. Now, that's a fairly simple process. You get a cup, you put in some sugar, a tea bag, hot water, and then milk. So uh, I did all that. Um, I made sure the but the water was piping hot, just a single teaspoon of sugar and a, a simple tea bag. I let it uh, brew for a while, not that long, and then I, I went to the fridge, uh, grabbed a bottle of uh, apple juice and poured that in. Um, yes, it tasted crap. I didn't mean to. I was, I thought it was water. It was a carton. No, I thought it was milk. Uh, yes. Now, that has nothing to do with Final Fantasy, it's just something I literally just did, and, uh, yeah, not done that before. Well, I'm almost out of sugar as well, it's, it's a damn shame. Now, I'm looking for one of those teleport things, but I spy an arms mender. Now, I want to repair all, yes. Now, if I change to a different gear set, let's make sure this gear set is actually, uh, yes, it appears to be. So let's change to that guy. Cannot change gear now. What about now? Oops. Well, he doesn't have anything, obviously. Um, let's repair his stuff. And I think most importantly, the jewels. Oops. The jewel smith. Uh, where is he? Yeah. Well, the the goldsmith even. Because, yes, that, his items are woefully down. There we go. Anyway. I'm looking for a teleport thing. Because uh, I explained my mistake I did with the uh, copper rings. So now I'm going to fix that. I'm going to do that quest very quickly. It can, won't take an entire episode, I promise. But I, I do want to get it over and done with. So the Goldsmith's Guild is where I want to go. And we do have our level 15 Falmaturge, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Uh, Black Mage quest, let's call it Black Mage. When do I become a Black Mage? It's got to be at some point. Well, yes, it literally has to be at some point, but... I don't know, level 25 maybe? Maybe it's 40 or something like that. It would make sense. Yes, um... Is that Gigi? Or does somebody like him? Uh, right. So, I want to make copper rings, not copper rings, not copper ring, no, I want to make copper rings. So I need 12, so I need 12 ingots. I only have two things, I need 10 more ingots. Fairly simple math there. But, yes, should be able to do that fairly quickly, as I said. Right, um, quick synthesis, max four, oh, you're an idiot, it's three per ingot, ah, right, so I want to make how many ingots, I already have, well, I need to make 12, so 12, 24, 36, let's get 36, uh, well, I need 24, because I have, yeah, 24. 24. Alright. Third time lucky. Quick synthesis. 12. Then synthesize. Right. And, yes. Very tempted just to walk over and make myself another cup of tea. But I have some Dr. Pepper. It's not quite the same, but it'll do. Hmm. Yes, this is a uh, much more nicer. Uh, it, well, it requires less clicking, and I'm assuming it's a little bit faster as well. Although one of my synthesis is failed, so I need to buy three more ingots. Damn you! I think I may have. Oops, I think I may have an ingot already. Hmm in here or maybe not I have a copper ingot yeah there's a special one 
So, yeah. Well, I can't do that while I'm crafting. It doesn't actually need to be in the right bag anyway. So, 11 will do. Because I just happen to have one extra. Um, I do have to watch these videos back at some point to see... Uh, if I, I have a kind of bloop, bloop, bloop when my controller uh, uh, sort of goes out of power and goes back in power and synthesis and I don't know if that translates across or not. I assume it does. But then again, I assumed other things did and it turned out they didn't. So, quick synthesis. Use HQ materials. 12. That way, that way it will use my special one as well. Because it's only copper stuff. It doesn't really... I don't need to save all the... Uh, all the special versions. Although, if they fail, I need to buy more copper rings again. Now, um, looking at Audacity, I'm making sound. Looking at Bandicam, I am recording. That's good. Those are both good things. Must remember to sell all this stuff. I can do that right now. Well, I can't do it right now, but I can do it as soon as I finish synthesizing these copper rings. Coils. Why couldn't you just say coils instead of rings? Why did you have to use the same words? <sighs> I mean, it must, like, they must have a different name in the code or something. Surely. I mean, they're called copper rings rather than copper ring and it spreads it out. I don't know. But, uh... Yes, after this I will do my... Oh, damn it! I knew what I was going to do first. The very, very first thing I should have done, I will do right after this. Before selling, before handing in, and before going to the Lollipop Guild, I will do this. Which is... Oh, I might not be able to, actually. Because... Yes. I have to hand in these first, actually, so... I'll, I'll tell you in a second. Yes, the rings are ready. Hand them over. And give me my rewards. Please. Have you seen worse? That's actually a nice reply from him. It's good as a compliment. Yes, I get it. It's a compliment. Uh, yeah, the rings are made out of copper. Used to make chains, JML, whatever. Uh, I've got to deliver them to the client personally because apparently there aren't a million other people in this world. To do so, Sultan Swan named Robert. Oh dear. Uh, he didn't want to distract the goldsmith, so he didn't wait inside. All right. So I will f sell my stuff, find Robert, and they'll probably send me back here. So, um, guild supplier, sell, and, well, I'm going to sell everything on this bottom row. Bottom two rows, in fact. Oh, some of these are bound to me. So when it does that, I have to move my mouse all the way to the other side of the screen. And select yes, yes, I do want to sell. Even if it is bound, yes. Oh, uh, spirit bond, whatever. Same thing. Oh, yes, yes, I would. There we go. Make a little bit of my money back. Right. So, where's that quest? There it is, it's quite close. Oh, it's, it's just outside. There's Robert. All right, Bob. Miss Sarah did. So, hand over these copper rings. They'll serve nicely. Well, that's good. Twelve boxes of rings. She'll get payment soon. I should get payment soon. I made the bloody rings out of my own money. <sighs> what am I doing? Uh, oh, I've got to go back. Yes, I haven't got my reward yet, have I? This should take me to level 11. Ah, it's a romantic storyline. 
Fair enough, yes. She's interested in that bloke. Uh, and I have to go to the quicksand to see if there's any more work. Hmm, there's a, chest, a quest line. I can now take commissions outside of her uh, thingamajig. Well, possibly. Right, uh, I've got a new uniform. But I'm probably wearing that already. What does control do? I don't know. Let's use control then. Because I think... Let's go for the unique helmet, shall we? Oh, and I get a, a chaser hammer. Okay, uh, helmet and hammer. Ding. Oh, in a quiet. Grants bonus control with every increase in quality. I'm not sure what that means. Right, I'll put it over there and uh, I'll figure it out later. So. I have a new helmet. So, yes, I look very silly. But, uh, that's fine. And, what was it? I can't remember what it was now. A hammer. A hammer in the morning. Uh, that would be a weapon, wouldn't it? And I can sell the other one. Right, wonderful! I'm done with these guys. Let's, um... Objectively speaking... Uh, right, I need to be level 15, that makes sense. It's always good to check. To the, lo to the Lollipop Guild. Thank you, John. Uh, first, the thing that I said I had to do straight away. Uh, let's lock this in place. Let's leave the main hand alone. Uh, yes. And go back to... Hmm. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it's because I sold all this clothes. Right. Um, first thing I need to do is press J and think... Hmm. J is the wrong button. Duty, that's the one. Because there is a level 15 one. Enemy strongholds. This battle exercise will test your ability to breach the enemy's stronghold defences. Eliminate targets in each of the three antechambers before infiltrating the final chamber and engaging in the Cyclopean Toad, who makes the cave of its den. Making quick work of the creatures the key, for Yazons who lurk behind the chamber's boulders will emerge once they smell blood. So I will join party in progress if it's possible, and press join. Oh, and I'll select that one. Yes, because I wanted that to be as soon as possible. Uh, otherwise, bad things might have happened. Oh, there it is. Um, Thaumaturge's Guild. And uh, I want to see what their quest line is like. I should have a level 15 quest. That might give me interesting stuff. Hope so. And I took a sip of drink there. That's what that donk was, me putting it back on the ground. It's level 1s. Look at those level 1s. I was one of those that once. Seems like so long ago. This panda bear. What level's panda bear? 43, because I was going to say that person had a really cool mount, one of those giants. There's a uh, Kukabuki. He wants me to delve even deeper into the yawning abyss of Thaumaturgy. I think Thau. Thaumaturgy. I like that. Thaumaturgy. Yeah. Yes, it beckons once more. The threat of superiority is the chapter of what he's going to read to me. So he'll read a passage, and then I'll have to go kill a creature, I expect. Uh, oh, there he is. But that's not... Uh, yes, I've come for my lesson. Ah, how magnificent the intimidating power we wield. Flames to the air, ice frost to the ground, a lightning flashes with blinding incandescence. But not all, are, not all are cowed by our elemental fury. Ignite not your flame, summon not your ice, and strike not with your lightning. Know you this threat and stay your hand against such foes. Once you cut away all the overblown in imagery, the passage draw attention to an important tactic. Wise Thaumaturge does not engage battle against opponents he cannot defeat. 
<clears throat> a fun example would be avoiding all conflict with Aldo's multitude of furious merchants. These soulless ravenous creatures are afflicted with madness of insatiable avarice. Do you perhaps recall the crate of either you retrieved from Amalja's bandit? Well, a number of the irate peddlers have arrived at the guild with the gall to demand recompense for the few measly vials we emptied as a just reward. Right, they drank the entire box, as he explains, but they cannot afford to pay the sum. So his most so weeping is their best defence against that. Um, you, you, he wants me to go up to the traders and use the cry emote. <sighs> Thought it was going to be a sensible lesson. This is my level fifteen lesson. This is a silly quest. Hmm. Let's try right clicking first. Uh, why did that not work then? Cry. Yeah, I'm doing that. What am I doing wrong? Yeah, I chased down the brutes. I can't remember that quest now, but uh, he's let me go. Let's cry in front of this person again. Just cry. Is there noise? Because I can't hear any crying noise, and I would expect there'd be. I've got boxing gloves on. <laughs> he's not angry with me. He's angry with those ether addled brothers that they take issue with you. <sighs> Very silly quest indeed. So I'm going to weep at this ogre man. My boxing gloves. He's take the loss out of his own purse. There you go. I've saved them some money, you greedy imps. You munchkin bastards. Can you give me a proper quest now? The sniffing was a nice touch. Uh, however, I encountered foes that are moved by Pietus Wailings. Uh, my next trial. Team Scholars... Um, Asked us to, well, the Thaumaturges, to uh, destroy Cusphalic, Mormo's urn. It's immune to tears, yes. While, po po while pottery is by and large immune to tears, it is the Alacran thieves that have subsequently stole it that concern him. They're an organization of criminals, not normally known for their gentle, understanding dispositions. Uh, so instead. Ah! He's teaching him how to use sleep properly. There. Destroy every urn they carry. Thank you. Proper mission. That's fine. Yeah, it's, it's teaching me when I should use sleep and stuff. I pretty much had that down, but... So... Is it compulsory catering? No, it's not. It is... Ah. The, uh. Yes, the threat of superiority. So, uh, let's find that on the map. Where's the. Th where's that quest then? Let's press map. It's a place I've not even been to yet. Uh. Eastern Thailand. Oh, I have been there briefly. I think that's where Blue Watch is. Right, should be able to teleport there. Which I will do. Um, uh, as soon as I remember how to teleport. There it is. Camp Blue Frog, 210. Money's still going up rather than down, so I should be able to afford it. Damn! There's another thing I was going to do. Uh, 
I'll do it when I get back. Uh, I'll tell you, saying it out loud might help me remember. Um, yes, I wanted to make that main city home again since... Uh, and, and I'll make wherever I happen to be at the time my preferred place. This is not the right place. Okay. The right place is here. Okay. So, where's that? Alright, let's teleport again to Blackrush. It's quite close. Then I go right. Right. Central Van Allen. Yes, um, yes. Because I think that's sort of the essential hub for the quest, at least for crafting, anyway. So... Uh, let them eat cactus. I've done that one already, so I'm going to skip it. But I can use my sprint. <coughs> and there might be more things for me to kill. How did I not notice I had hunting things? They have symbols above their head, John. Um... Am I going the correct way? Was this even the correct location? Yes, it was. Right. Alright, well, we're well on our way. Let's go into the water. There, those guys. Those guys I need to kill. I think. Yeah, Toxic Toad. Let's kill him. In the line of sight. Did not know that was an issue. Um, well, learn something new every video. He grabbed me close. What okay. get? Let's use Blizzard. Um, try not to die. Basically, I want to constantly swap between the two, and I think I should use a potion. Uh, oh, he's he's dead. Something not dead. Uh, that bat who's attacking me. Right. Well, I think they can afford some fire. I was only using ice because I was swapping between the Blizzard Two and the Blizzard One, and keeping the bonus. Let's chuck some thunder at him. And look in my hunting log. Right. Uh, Toxic Toad. See, that's complete. Oh, wow. I must have got 5,000. I didn't even see that. Oh, yeah, it's down there. I see now. But I do need to find the giant tortoises. All right, let's ignore him. You sprint. And let's ignore him, I said. Not get pulled in by him. That's, like, completely the opposite. <laughs> and I should know. Yeah, I'm not going to justify why I should know. Can't. Full circle! Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. I'll get it one day. I want to land on the back of my heels. Well, um, I want to land, turn the other way around so he immediately has to turn. Because uh, I find that kind of thing amusing. Right, there should be a city here as well. Levs of... Oh yeah, I got a lev! I've completely forgot all about that. No, I didn't. That's a, that's a quest available. You're an idiot, John. Did that level, like, immediately after I got it. So I'm going to go in here, make sure I've got the crystal. Kill that Tuco. Because it's got the symbol above its head. Should be, should be good experience. Oh, get out of that line of... Oh, it's one of those things, but it's got spikes on his head. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It looks like a Yoshi, though. Alright, that's one down. Let's kill a couple before I go in. Well, I can go to the city. I've got to run out of the city anyway. Turn the map off. It's a flamey city. Camp Drybone. 
So I want to remember this place. I'm not going to make it a preferred location yet because I want to finish off the quests in the other area. But I, I do want to finish this quest, obviously, because it's for the Lollipop Guild. And yes, I'm willing to spend five more minutes because I am readying a duty. Or... Um, no, I'm going to let you go. Because uh, I'm, I'm John Proxy. I'm, I'm having a Final Fantasy XIV online adventure. Uh, Realm Reborn on Channel 12 and I'll see you next time.